here, I'm Risa, and I love sharing all things Disney. My husband Alex and I recently discovered the pure magic of a Disney cruise, so we hopped on another one. During the spookiest time of the year, join us as we sail away on a three-night bohemian Halloween on the high seas cruise on the Disney Magic. <laughs> Oh my god, it's been so long. After boarding the ship, we headed straight to Cabana's for our first meal on the Disney Magic. Cabana's is the buffet option on the Disney Magic and truly has something for everyone. Alex and I enjoyed a bit of everything and then finished off with a 25th anniversary dessert. Afterwards, we headed to Cove Cafe for a little afternoon pick-me-up. Something I learned on this cruise is that with every order, you get a selection of free pastries of your choice. And after every fifth purchase, you get a free drink of your choice. We sat in here and relaxed a bit and enjoyed the ambiance of the Cove Cafe before we were ready to head to our stateroom. Hello and welcome to another Disney cruise vlog. We are here today on the Disney Magic. Magic. It is our second time on the Disney Magic cruise. If you have been following this page, then you know that we have been here once before for our very first Disney cruise and we're so excited to be back. Yeah, because this is actually the first time we experienced the Disney Magic at I guess normal operations yes this is the very first time we will be experiencing the Disney magic without any COVID restrictions mm -hmm. so it is at full capacity there is hugging characters no masks and it is going to be a full-on Disney cruise the only other Disney cruise we experienced post COVID with no restrictions was the Disney wish cruise and that was a three-day Holly it was a it was, it was very actually, merry yeah. Christmas cruise yeah. on Christmas on Christmas so it was, yeah. uh, as Christmas as it gets yes and that was so much fun but we are here today for another themed cruise this time it is the opposite of Christmas yeah. it is spooky season and we are here for the Halloween on the high seas Disney cruise so this is the first time we're gonna be experiencing spooky season here on the yeah. Disney cruise so they have a pumpkin tree and we're gonna see it get lit and presented in a few hours so uh, super excited but we actually are gonna start on a pretty crazy next few hours so we want to show you a little bit of what we got because this is our fourth Disney cruise yes so I guess we're now castaway club members I looked it up online and that's not actually like a level yeah I don't know what that means exactly you got silver gold platinum and then you got a crazy one yeah and I feel like we always get something for every cruise that we've been on we always get two lanyards one for each of us and then some sort of backpack mm. so this time around we got some really cool lanyards it's like yeah, Mickey cute. Sailor Mickey and I think this is also themed to the 25th anniversary I'm not too sure it doesn't say on no, here it just says castaway club it just says castaway club it doesn't say 25th but these are very cute we actually never use these but i do keep them as mementos and then we got this really this cool tote bag That's that cute. says castaway club disney cruise line super adorable i love these bags for like beaches but anyways that is the fun stuff that we got and we are going to start like alex said a very jam-packed itinerary we're going to start off with the sailing away party then it's going to be the pumpkin tree lighting with spooky stories and then i think all the characters are going to come out after that in their halloween costumes and then we have a show and then dinner yeah, so nonstop, and you forgot the it's the mustard drill or mustard. Oh, the mustard drill. It's not mustard. It's not the condiment. There's no, there's no D. It's a mustard it's drill. It's mustard. Um, anyways, we gotta get going, so we're gonna go ahead and give you a room tour, 
and then we're gonna take off to this mustard drill yeah so we'll see you probably after the mustard drill at the sail away party because that is actually the most fun and i cannot wait to bring you guys along so see you there see you there our stateroom was located in between forward and midship we got a deluxe ocean view stateroom with a large porthole as this is disney's first ever cruise ship it is also the smallest so things do feel a bit tight in here and having the large porthole really does open up the space and it's truly a lovely way to start every morning by looking out your porthole at the morning sun sunset over the ocean view. This living area is truly so functional. You can do everything from sleep, relax, and get ready in the morning. Leading towards the entrance, you walk towards the closet and some cabinets with plenty of storage space and a double restroom. One side includes the toilet and sink and the other side includes a shower and sink as well. I think this layout provides the ultimate functionality especially for a larger family. After the mandatory mustard drill, we headed to the pool deck for the sail away party. I'm Sam, I'm your host here with DJ Caitlin to get the party started. Now who is ready for vacation? Ready to party, party for me. Let's wave goodbye to the shore. And 
say hello to our Disney Cruise vacation. In fact, it's time to sound the ship's horn. We're going to count down from five. Five, four, three, two, one. Disney Magic, you're on vacation. Hello, guys. We are back from the sail away party. That was so much fun. We ended up getting some really amazing spots right smack dab in the middle. We got there early and nobody was on the floor right in front of the blue railing. And once the show started, we realized why. Because the cameraman was right there in the middle to get all of the action to show on the big screen. So we were pretty much blocked by the cameraman, but I did find like a side angle where I could get all of my footage. So I hope that turned out good for you guys. And I could also see from the side, it wasn't like a center view, but it was right in front of all the characters and I was really excited about that. Afterwards, we were toasty, hot and sweaty, hence why my hair is now up. And then we got a fun drink. So this is the Sail Away drink. It was $16 if you add up the tax. It was like 15 something. But you can use this cup every day to refill it with the drink of the day for about $6 and some change. I'm not sure what the exact amount is. But we do want to get the drink of the day every day if we can. So we went ahead and paid the $16 so that we could get refills with the drink of the day. So that was very fun and exciting. We are here back in the room cooling off. We plan to skip the show tonight. I think it's the Tangled show. Like we said earlier, we have been on the Magic, so we have seen all of the stage shows here, so we don't mind skipping those. We might watch one of them, but we are planning to skip the Tangled show tonight and head to the pool and cool off before we get ready for dinner. We are dining at Rapunzel's Royal Table tonight, so we will see you there and probably stop by the pool first. All right, guys, we are moving. We're moving and grooving. There's a Coast Guard. He actually has like a gun at the front of his little boat. Not sure if that's necessary, but hey, better safe than sorry, I guess. And we're ready for the pool. We're gonna head to the pool. We decided to skip the Tangled show and take advantage of the empty pool right now. Alex is blinking the lights because he said it is time to go. So we'll see you there. Bye. I am so glad we decided to forego the play this night and take advantage of the low crowds at the adult pool. We refilled our souvenir cup and relaxed in the hot tub for a bit before grabbing some pizza at Pinocchio's Pizzeria. Afterwards, we did our very best at serving up our own ice cream. I always seem to make quite a bit of a mess, but this time I was more successful. We enjoyed our ice cream by a window and took in the ocean views. Then we headed to the main atrium to enjoy the pumpkin tree lighting ceremony. Greetings, my fresh 
chase us, and innocent eyes, you were all here for fun and surprise! <laughs> Look at all of you. What a wonderful sight. But don't be scared. I want smiles, not fright. So rise up your voices. Let me hear a loud scream. I sense your foreboding, your sense of dread. Give me a laugh to rattle the dead. <laughs> oh, spirits are close. This I can feel. Scream, trick or treat, and let's finish the deal. Something wicked is great. Here tonight, for all to hear, the truest sound of ghoulish cheer. Witches laughter and ghoulish crowd. Zombies, monsters of the crowd. Bring the power of nightmare. Bring them to life. It's Halloween! Oh, you girls are carrying me. It's been to life to see something strange. I'm going to have to think of this. It's all girl of Halloween. Oh, this is Halloween. This is Halloween. Oh, it's Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Four, three, two, one. sisters made a very surprise appearance. to meet and greet the Sanderson sisters. This was definitely a highlight of our day. Alrighty guys, we just got done watching the pumpkin tree lighting. It was actually super cool. I really liked how they did the lighting effects with the music. Yeah. But one thing that we were expecting, because we have been researching and watching a lot of Halloween on the High Seas videos, were that the Sanderson sisters were gonna come out and do a little performance. And they came out, like, how many minutes after? Probably like 10 minutes after yeah, the uh, pumpkin was, tree lighting. Yeah, it was a good 10 minutes after the pumpkin tree lighting ceremony. And then we were like, I guess they're not coming out. And then as soon as we started walking away, 
we saw them coming down a hallway and they did come out and they did like a little like little jig in with the music but yeah. not like a full-on show oh, not and even then, close yeah. not even close it was just like a little jig jig into their spots because <laughs> yeah. they were just doing photos yeah they did like a little jig into their little spots their photo op spot in front of the pumpkin tree and then Alex was smart enough to run down and get yeah. in line I saw like there was like maybe 30 people in line and I know that's a hot ticket so yeah. I ran straight there and by the time Risa joined me that line was wild. It was like 80 people deep, yeah. almost. They weren't even allowing yeah. multiple pictures, so no family combinations. One picture no. and you're done. Yeah, they were like, it's either a picture by yourself or with your family, and you're gone. So decide now or forever hold your peace. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, after that, we went to go look at some watches. Because, you know, I love watches and see what they had on the ship. But now we're running super behind yes. for dinner. We got to go, guys. So we're going to go to Rapunzel's. Royal table. Royal table. Yeah. And we will show you what we get there. We probably won't be able to talk because we're going to be seated, seated with another family. Yeah, so that's something that we're not really used to. We experienced yeah. it for the first time on The Wish, but post COVID, you know, it's regular yeah. to just share table with people. So we got to go. Yeah. Wish us luck. Bye, guys. As we entered Rapunzel's royal table, we were surrounded by beautiful lanterns hanging all around. And fun entertainment, of course. We ordered our food and enjoyed some appetizers as Rapunzel walked around and greeted all her guests. Thank you. So you guys enjoy the party and you'll have to let me know if you love the lanterns or the kingdom dance that we're We received a few other visitors as our food started to come along. We ordered dessert and enjoyed a beautiful lantern ceremony. Afterwards, everyone joined hands to dance around in celebration. We enjoyed our time and conversation so much that we were quite literally the last to leave. We saw Mickey as we passed through the main atrium into white caps to get a look at some of the 25th anniversary merchandise. Although this was a Halloween on the high seas cruise, white caps still had quite a selection of 25th anniversary merchandise. In addition, you could find general Disney Cruise Line merchandise here as well. Then we headed into Mickey's main sales to get a look at the exclusive Halloween on the High Seas merchandise. Alrighty guys, we're back in the room and what do we have to do every night? We have to do a recap of but, our day. Okay, but what else? Um, we have to show the people the... Towel art. Yes. Is that what it's called? Towel art, yeah. But in this case, they made it out of our blanket. And I'll give you five seconds to guess what it is. Five, four, three, two, one. Dude. If you guessed. Oh yeah, Alex gave you a good clue right there. <laughs> it is a turtle. Look at its little head just poking out. That's a good turtle. That's a good turtle. So that is our blanket art of the day. I'm tired. Let's go ahead and recap this evening. Yes. Alrighty, guys. We are finally back in our stateroom after getting ready for dinner. Then we went straight to the pumpkin tree lighting, which was pretty cool to see. And then we took pictures with the Sanderson sisters. We went to Rapunzel's Royal Table for dinner tonight, and we have eaten there before. And I remember enjoying the bread service last time and that was it, but I ordered wrong. I ordered a very bland fish last time. Sea bass. Sea bass. Very bland, but today I ordered a an angel hair pesto pasta with scallops on the side. And that was actually pretty good. I wouldn't say it's the best pasta I've ever had, but 
once I squeezed the lemon on there and got some Parmesan cheese on top, it was pretty delicious and the scalps were actually very tasty. So I enjoyed my meal and then we capped it off with some dessert. But what did you get, Alex? Yeah, I actually, instead of doing kind of going down the regular menu where you order appetizer, salad, soup, entree, I kind of took a pivot and I ordered two entrees, but no salad or soup before. So I ordered the vegetarian option, which was like a potato crepe, yeah. or a crepe filled with potatoes and spinach. That was pretty good. And I also ordered the, they, they call it a, the lighter option, which was a grass-fed steak with rice and vegetables. It looked really good. It, it's simple, it's clean, and the food was good today, but I'm just not used to eating this kind of amount of food, and I'm feeling very, very bad right now. Yeah, I'm trying to not overdo it this time. We usually get like all the appetizers, all the desserts, but I am just ordering what looks good to me this time around. And then if I want more, I'll order more. This is the first time we only order two desserts. That is very true. In our previous uh, cruises, we, order all of them. we just order everything and we don't necessarily eat everything. We I just do. like tasting it all but Alex will definitely eat, eat everything all, I eat all the desserts. yeah but it was a very lovely experience we shared our table with two other couples one couple we got along with very well and the other couple just kind of stayed to themselves and didn't really interact or engage which was the case for our last cruise on the wish we got along really well with another couple at the table and the other couple just stay to themselves yeah. so i don't know if that's i i mean i feel like i was trying to engage i looked at them and made eye contact i smiled but they made it clear that they just wanted to have their alone time which is fine yeah in the end like you know we, we talked to this couple from minnesota <laughs> i don't know if that accent is offensive <laughs> but <laughs> uh, they were cool peoples um but anyways, like, yeah, we had a good conversation with them, both nurses. So that was our night after dinner. We did go to Mickey's, is it what, Whitecaps? We went to Whitecaps and Mickey's main sales mm -hmm. afterwards to just peruse the merchandise. They had quite a lot of 25th anniversary merchandise, which I was happy to see. We didn't really, we didn't purchase anything tonight, but I have my eye on a few things. And then um, Mickey's main sales had, so Mickey's white caps had a lot of 25th anniversary merchandise. And then Mickey's main sales had a lot of the Halloween or Halloween on the high seas merchandise. But that was our night. It is now, it's crazy. We left the room for the pumpkin tree lighting at 7.15. It's now 10.52, so we've been gone for almost four hours. It didn't even feel like it. Yeah, we did a lot of things back to back, so it was a very fun-filled day. Four hours. That's one four hour. hours of back to back activities. But we gotta wake up early specifically. I gotta wake up at six. Tomorrow we have Atlantis in the Bahamas, and I'm super excited uh, about that. We'll show you what that looks like and what we do there. But we do have an early wake-up call. Yes. So, I think we should wrap up tonight. Yes, we are very tired from our travels and this very jam-packed, eventful first day on the Disney Magic. And we're so glad that you came along to enjoy this day one of our three-day Halloween on the High Seas Magic Disney Cruise. So, we'll see you tomorrow for day two. And good night, guys. Yes.